Hill Bridge. And welcome everyone to the NBA. Hey, Allie. Brian, thanks so much. Ben Simmons. And his time playing Australian rules football, he said helped him too. Thanks, Allie. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. They've got Dylan Brooks. Blake Griffin out there with Larry Nance. And it's Davis in at the point. And for the Mavericks, Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Suggs. Then there's Maxi Kleba. Then there's Gordon Hayward. And it's the Mavericks to start out. And here's Gilgis Alexander. Hayward outside. Back to Gilgis Alexander. The three from Suggs. That one doesn't drop. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. On the wing, Davis. Soft touch off the glass. I tell you, it always feels great getting those first points on the board. And will that get him rolling? Will it get his team rolling? This should be an interesting night. And there it is for him. Great concentration through the contact. Gilgis Alexander, excellent focus. Outside Davis. Oh, sweet move. And that's two points on the layup. Davis has gotten his second bucket of the game. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Gil grabs the board. There's Davis with the three. That's the three ball to go. Davis has got three seven. Points. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. That one falls. What a pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's capable as a scorer, but finds his teammate there. Pass to Gill. Just over a minute and a half in. Davis can't hit. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Hayward, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. The three from Suggs. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And there's no quit in this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Guys, when you look at what Shea Gilgis Alexander brings, he's got a great skill set on the offensive end. He can get off the bounce. He can find his teammates. This guy can slot into either backcourt position. He'll love the versatility. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. And with Gilgis Alexander, he finds success no matter the role, Doris. Yeah, this guy is very easy to play off of. He's improved his passing as a playmaker. He's got a natural gift for scoring. There's so much to like about SGA. Both shots good from the strike. After a deep collegiate championship run, Jalen Suggs looks so ready for the pressures of league play. Oh, he's got ice in his veins for sure. Taking his college team to the finals with a buzzer-beating three-pointer, that kind of grit will serve him well in the NBA. Here's Griffin. Goes back up. It's deflected. Hayward against Brooks. Here's Gilgis Alexander. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. But on the catch and shoot, you've got to be shot ready. And Gilgis Alexander showing off his pretty form. Brooks outside. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. And he buries his first look. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Here's Abdul Rahim. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Well, you love the unselfishness of Gordon Hayward in that instance. You think of him as a scorer, but he's a terrific setup guy as well. Gilgis Alexander against Davis. Going inside. Oh, Hayward with some nice D. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. And he played a stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Second team foul. And the first one at the line is good. This guy, Shea Gilgis Alexander, someone you can trust. An excellent free throw shooter, very willing to perform in the clutch, someone you love having. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. 
It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Pass to Davis. Just four to shoot. Rebounded by Kleba. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Out to Hayward. 4-3. Kleba against Griffin. Shot is good by Kleba. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. And the Grizzlies with possession here. They trail by six. Pass to Davis. Got a hand on it. Brooks against Hayward. Here's Kleba. It's tipped. Griffin still possessing such incredible timing. Shooters have to be careful when he's on the prowl. Here's Nance. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Abdul Rahim. Here's Suggs. It's stolen by Nance. To the paint. Here's Gill. Count it. One for one to start the game. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Hayward finds Kleba. The three from Suggs. Drills it from deep. Suggs has got eight. Their guards have carried the offensive load. With the way they've performed, they've got the green light to shoot whenever there's an opening. Now here's Davis. He's got nine. To the inside, Nance. The Mavericks pull it in. Knocks it loose. Pass to Hayward. Three-pointer. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists now in this one. Now Davis. And that basket makes it five for ten. Steady production so far. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Hayward for three. He can't hit that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Pass to Gill. Here he goes. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone wrote it over and challenged it. sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here. Hanging up there like that. It's trick here. Down low. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. There is an imagination of creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Yes, it's good. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. And I think they count on him for that. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Gill. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Mavericks. <laughs> Some great drives to the bucket for them tonight. Well, you know, another thing they've been having success with has been the three-point shot. Ben Simmons has checked in for Nance. Here's Gill. Goes up again. Got a and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Kleba. His shot was hindered by that moment. Mentis, mobile. Oh, amazing indeed. And giving stops that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Pass to Simmons. Back to Griffin. It's good. Griffin. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Simmons. Griffin's got his second basket. Terrific playmaking from Simmons. Getting the ball into his hands off a wide open shooter. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Third team foul. And first one falls for him. Shea Gilgis Alexander at the line for two. 
Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. And they're doing a great job of earning their trips to the line. Timeout called. Timeout Memphis. Called Memphis. And the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year. They'll be looking for payback after grabbing the short straw in the season series last year. Ladies and gentlemen, your Mavericks dance team. All right, fans. That is the Mavericks dance team. Thanks for going, fans. Davis, the pass to Griffin. Back to Davis. Into the lane. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. And the Mavericks with possession here. They lead by four. Here's Suggs. And he throws it down with one hand. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Now here's Davis. 14 points for him. Pass to Abdul Rahim. Stolen by Davis. Here's Gill. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Well, this is where Gordon Hill has been to a dependable two-way player. How good is he at using his length to turn away these shots? Griffin's shot is off. Dallas has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Here's Abdul Rahim. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got five assists tonight. I'm sure he's shocked to find himself that wide open. Now here's Davis. Pass to Griffin. And the layup is good. Griffin's got six points. Intelligent basketball. Keep feeding the hot hand. Driving to the basket. And that one is stopped right through. <laughs> this is legit showmanship right here. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the Tomahawk there. That's more than just getting two points. That was sending a clear message. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. Shade Gilgis That's his first pressure. And he knocks down the first one. Team fight. At the line for the Grizzlies. Kendall Gill. Taking two shots. And he makes both free throws. 44 seconds left to play in the first. To the left side wing. Here's Bibby. That three's off the mark. And Memphis shooting the rock around 46% so far. Here's Gill. He's checked by Kleba. Kept alive. Tries again. And it's finished off by Griffin as he lays it in. Give him eight. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. And he makes it. And the Mavericks lead by seven. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And then Davis slams it in. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. Well, offense is the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Mavericks ahead. They lead by five. Quarter number two coming up right after. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. We've got Robert Williams in at the four side. So that's who Dallas starts the second with. Outside Johnson. Five on the clock. Second chance effort. Shots good by Kukoc. The Mavericks leading. Here's Suggs on the take. Wow, that type 
the finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. And a chance there to look back at the stunning Global One block a moment ago. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was crazy. Here's Ibby. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Livers. Out to Fox. Here's Bibby. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Jackson, he's checked in for Griffin. And the Grizzlies shooting the ball at 48% so far. Here's Kukoc. And here's Johnson. And it's rejected. And he recovers it. And the basket is good. Johnson's got his first points of the night. Dallas has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. He put a little flair on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? For Memphis, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Outside Johnson. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Jack, the pass to Johnson. Outside Davis. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. Oh, some solid defense from Fox. And so it's Dallas with it. They've led by as much as 10. He shoots. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And now a five-point Maverick lead. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. And he's going for the lob. Deflected. Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. Off the inbound pass. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Suggs. Oh, wow! Incredible! And he dunks it down. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmate who can get up to him and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Oh, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Here's Johnson. Oh, the teardrop falls in. And now just a one-point Maverick lead. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. It's blocked. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. They grab their own miss. Williams' shot is good. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. For Memphis, they've gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Here's Davis. Here's Simmons. Jackson. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Livers, Simmons defending, Fox outside, takes the three, and they recover it, Williams, oh, and makes it with the kiss, Williams has gotten a second bucket on the night, the defense getting out hustled on the putback, can't let that happen, you have got to put a body on somebody, we talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs, Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second personal foul. It's going to go on Ben Simmons. The first free throw is good. At the line for Dallas. Jalen Sub. It's both from the strike. The Grizzlies have gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Pass to Kukoc. 
Now here's Johnson. And so he draws the foul, heading to the line to shoot a pair. That's his suit, man. He made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And he makes a first. The <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period. Doing what they can to try to build some momentum. McDaniels is checked in for Memphis. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. And here they come. The floater. And the bucket's good from Simmons in deep. Simmons has got his first points in this one. So fluid in the open court. Simmons can beat you in a variety of ways. That time as a finisher. Bibby, good. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And of course, he makes good use of it. And it's Simmons with the jam. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Inside, here's Davis. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Davis has got eight here in this quarter. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. And Dallas calls time here. I don't blame with the score this tight. You cannot take a chance here. Outside Davis. And good work on the boards. It's up to second chance points. Davis has got 26. Well, just it's easy to say. This guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Well, the Grizzlies shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. And it's Simmons with the jam. As point guards go, I don't know that anyone can throw it down like Simmons. He dunks more than most centers do. Here's Bibby. It's rebounded by Memphis. Davis finds Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Back to the basics, unleashing the one-hand flush. Boy, he makes the basics look pretty outstanding, though, huh? <laughs> That's true. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Fox, that's good. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Outside Davis. He kicks it out to Jackson. Pass to Johnson. Now Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside Johnson. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Goes up on the baseline. Offensive rebound. Jackson. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Let's look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Grizzlies. Take note of the work they've done on the offensive glass to this point, guys. A bunch of putbacks for them. As something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Griffin's checked in. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Give him eight points now. And just sinks it over the tall defender. That's why you have to crowd shooters on the perimeter. Okay. Today's player is not intimidated by size. You even get them a sliver of a window and they're going to make that shot his livers yes and a nice assist from fox i like that decision right there don't try to force a shot inside kick it out and there's a whistle that'll belong to Shea gilgis alexander that'll be a second foul of the game hayward he's checked in for the mavericks the grizzlies also with a sub nance he's checked in for jackson A minute 53 left in the half. 
Oh, there's the alley. Pass to Bibby. Hayward with it. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Back to Hayward. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Dallas has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. And he drives in. Hey, the slam by Hayward. Boy, you've got to admire the toughness of Gordon Hayward, always looking to finish with strength off the drive. A minute nine left in the first half. Pass to Simmons. To the middle. Here's Nance. Shot's blocked. Hayward with it. Working on McDaniels. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. I just love how Gordon Hayward has become so crafty on the interior. Gills checked in for Memphis. Both free throws good from Hayward. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Right side Simmons. And they double up Simmons. Pass to McDaniels. To the left wing. Here's Gill. He has seven. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. The burst of speed from Shea Gilgis Alexander put it on the deck into the cup. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Driving in. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. And so the ball out of bounds. Gilgis Alexander tucks it last. Twenty seconds left in the first half of this game. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 14-6 run. Livers shot is off. And there's the lob. The ball handling and passing of Griffin. It's what helps set them apart from other power forwards. Hayward, left side. Over McDaniels. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Jalen Suggs has been leading the charge for the Dallas Mavericks. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Up possession. On the court right now for the Grizzlies. Larry Nance is out there with Blake Griffin. Then it's Dylan Brooks, and it's Gill in at the shooting guard position. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Kleba. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Griffin with it. Davis with it. Guarded by Kleba. Davis down low. Here's Brooks. Tight defense on him. Here's Griffin. Outside for Brooks. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. Brooks has got his second basket of the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Out to Hayward. Fires the three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds in the game. Three-pointer. Brooks knocks down the triple. And it's a seven-point Memphis lead. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Tipped. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. And the shot goes. Assist from <laughs> I just Larry love Dan the ball. Game. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Shot is good by Kleba. Well, their first basket in four tries. Can that trigger a little bit of good shooting here? We'll find out. Oh, it's stolen. It's Hayward on the wing. Three-pointer. Sinks it from distance. 
Hayward's got 10 Gordon points. Hayward. Well, this is why it's important that Gordon Hayward continue to space the floor. When he's hitting from distance, boy, it unlocks every aspect of his game. Nance finds Davis. And Gilgis Alexander with a block. Dylan Brooks. Dallas has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hayward to the wing on the left. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Can't get it to drop. Part of why they have this lead, they're doing the little things out there. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Nance has got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The Mavericks trailing. Gilgis Alexander passes to Kleba. Brooks with the rebound. And here's Memphis. They're on a 14-5 run. The kick out to Nance. Pass to Davis. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. The Mavericks have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Bibby, here's Abdul Rahim. And that one barely misses as he draws contact. Two free throws coming up. Larry Nance picks one up. At the line for Dallas. Both good from the line that time. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Brooks outside. That one falls. Dylan Coming Brooks. off Davis' feed. Brooks has got 10 points here in the second half. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Gilgis Alexander. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his second personal foul. Of a tremendous length at the guard spot that Shea Gilgis Alexander presents is a problem for a lot of defensive players. Williams has checked in for Kleba. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Here's Gil. Gilgis Alexander defending. Now here's Davis. Give him 30. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And now the Mavs on the run. Hayward for three. Connects from downtown. Hayward's got six in the quarter. Challenging this day with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Here's Gill. And the baseline jumper goes down. And the Grizzlies lead by seven. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Pass to Bibby. Here's Abdul Rahim. Here's Bibby. Brooks defending. Here's Abdul Rahim. He's got 11. Clock at four. Out to Hayward. Let's the three fly. He drains it. Made half his shots. He's five for ten now. And that bucket from beyond the arc puts them within reach. He's really been putting that shot to work. Yeah, and if he can stay hot from out there, his three-point shot could be the tool they use to win this game. Griffin outside. The three ball. It's rebounded by Dallas. Here's Bibby. Give him eight points now. Hayward, good. When this guy starts hitting threes, watch out. He's just pouring it on this half. Outside Davis. Drives to the hoop. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Grizzlies. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Suggs has checked in for the Mavericks. So he hits. Dallas has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. 
And it's good. Two points. Gilgis Alexander's got four points this quarter. So smooth. So pretty off the dribble drive. Shea Gilgis Alexander doing work. Davis. Second shot opportunity. Count that one. And the Grizzlies lead by five. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Abdul Rahim's shot is good. He's got 13. Now you can see the excitement with Shea Gilgis Alexander. So young and yet so gifted as a passer. Here's Gil. Williams defending. Yep, that one goes. He's got 19. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Suggs. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Checked by Davis. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Griffin in the post. Working on Williams. And it's Davis penetrating. And finished off by Davis. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. Well, you love that he wants to wear out the defense. What a catalyst for his team. Incredible. Is that an answer or what? He just one up to real good. <laughs> Those rallies going at and adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Here's Suggs. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. Third team foul. First free throw is good. McDaniels is checked in for Memphis. Ben Simmons comes in for Davis. So he gets them both. Memphis leading. Outside Simmons. Driving inside. And it's Simmons with the jam. Big man rolling through. Give Simmons a lane to the rim. He'll make your day. Hey, and the apple not falling far from the tree. Simmons' dad was a legendary player in Australia. And that's where Simmons says he really learned the value of team ball. At age 15, he played in a world championship. Just invaluable to his early development. Not everyone has the green light to take that free in transition, but he does, especially with the defense already set up protecting the paint. Simmons against Williams. Nice yes. shot by Simmons. Simmons has got 10 points. Physical defense, not a problem for Simmons. His strength is one of his assets. And it's Gilgis Alexander on the drive. The free from Suggs. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got nine assists now tonight. Brooks outside. Over Suggs. No good off the back of the rim. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Right wing. Down low. William's shot is good. He has six. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot's good by Kukoc. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Back to Fox. This for the tie! From beyond the arc and then some. Fox has got six in the quarter. the hook tried to bank it in but it misses the Mavericks shooting has been tremendous 63% for the game and scoring with confidence Suggs no good Memphis has gone 3 of 5 from downtown here in the second half Griffin 
got a piece of it. And he's able to get it back. Outside Simmons. Another shot. He takes it in. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Yeah, the way that Simmons handles the ball at almost seven feet, it's pretty much impossible to defend. Taking two shots. No good on that one. And he's good on the second. You know, he couldn't make all of them, and they'll have to settle for just a one-point lead. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. It's the Grizzlies up by one. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision-making at every position. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Suggs is out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Then there's Maxi Kleba, and it's Fox in at the small forward position. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Larry Nance and Jr. that one's good. You have to do more than that against Larry Nance Jr. This guy is no stranger to physical contact. Kleba passes to Fox. Off target from three-point range. Memphis has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Pass to McDaniels. Nance in the post. McDaniels, that's good. McDaniels got his first points of the game. It always helps to have a big who is willing to find open teammates. Larry Nance proving how unselfish he can be. And it's good for two. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Here's Simmons. And it's Simmons with the jam. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. Well, you love that he wants to wear out the defense. What a catalyst for his team. Incredible. Woo what a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down to you guys. You love seeing games like this from Simmons looking absolutely dominant in control offensively. Three-pointer, Fox, counted from distance. Fox has got nine points now in the second half. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. It's Johnson with a drive. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. And you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. B.A., I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this yeah, game so foul. close. Oh, it's Jeez. risky, but it sure did look good. That's his oh, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe First have to scale foul. back his aggressiveness with plenty of time left in this one. And the Grizzlies with possession here. They've led by as much as 10. Jackson finds Johnson. No luck on that one. And it's Dallas the other way. Here's Bibby. There's the drive. And up two handed jam. Oh, man. You want to talk about taking flight? That's exactly what he did, making it look effortless. The Grizzlies have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, we knew That's something his, might his, happen with Ben Simmons. And clearly, he and the 76ers just weren't on the same page. Now, sometimes the relationship between a player and a team just runs its course. And after their disappointing postseason exit last year, it was time to part ways. So I'm, I'm sure Simmons is definitely looking forward to reinventing himself with his new team. Tipped. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Oh, and 
Johnson slams it in. Great setup. When you have Simmons' height, it's easier to see the entire floor. Oh, and Jackson with the block. It's Johnson with a drive. Got a hand on it. Kleba against Simmons. Pass to Suggs. There's the three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Simmons has got four rebounds now. And here's Jackson. It's rebounded by Dallas. Kleba's got his fourth rebound in this one. Dallas has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Here's Livers. Here's the three. Hits a three-pointer. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. You know Simmons can get physical when he has to, going right through the contact. Takes it inside. Hey, it's blocked by Simmons. Pass to Suggs. Here's Bibby. Simmons defending. Clock at six. Here's Kleba. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Kleba with a steal. Here's Suggs. Fires from deep. Offensive rebound. Kleba shot is off. The Grizzlies have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Jackson. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Fox goes in. And Fox powers it home. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. Here's Livers. He drops it from range. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Mavericks. Defensively, they played with a high energy level tonight. All the results we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. And you also have to give credit to them for their shot blocking. They've had a ton of rejections. And the B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Back to Fox. Let's it go from deep. Second shot opportunity. Shots good by Livers. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. The Grizzlies have gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Timeout call. Memphis. I don't think this timeout is just to give the guys a breather. The coach is looking to switch things up. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jalen Suggs. Yeah, and this game really has his fingerprints all over it. He's been dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hayward's checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. He lit into them over their transition defense. He said, quote, enough is enough. Get back on D. We have to slow them down. The discrepancy in fast break points is eating at him. We'll see how they respond. And Allie, thank you for that. Gill up again it's rebounded by Kleba the Mavericks leading to the paint and finished off by Kleba well he's such a good athlete for a center it's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA they need something good to happen here yeah they've gone way too long without a score here's Kleba and slammed it home and a foul a chance at another point at the line it's going to be on Dylan Brooks. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Davis has checked in. Memphis has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Here's Davis. Will it go? That shot. No good. Well, the map will take it the other way. Hayward for three. The Mavericks rebound. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Three on three. Here's Nance. Here's... There's the... Has to be. 
Here's Suggs. Hayward to pass to Kleba. And a nice finish on the layup. Kleba's got nine points now in the quarter. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Time out call. Memphis. They're looking to do something to stop this run. They have to get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Outside Davis. Oh, ripped away. Here's Hayward. It's deflected. Got a piece of it. The three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Davis with it. Hayward picks him up. Davis drives in. And Finished off by Davis. Davis. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset. And he, oh, oh, wow. Oh. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. And the Grizzlies shooting just 38% here in the fourth. And there's a minute 45 left in the game. Inside. And Griffin gets it to go. And just staying in control. This is Griffin's mindset. Keeping his balance even when the D is present. Driving inside. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. Davis, the pass to Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. And he just punches home the one-hand finish. Hey, two points the easy way. Pass to Bibby. Hayward outside. From outside the arc. Offensive board. Kleba. And finished off by Kleba. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. And no reason to do so there. He was going to leave no doubt. 105 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Davis. It's rebounded by Kleba. The Mavericks shooting around 53% of the fourth. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Mavericks. Well, they were focused on being productive at the arc tonight. And it ended up paying off big time. Just an overwhelming performance. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And what a huge performance it was for Jalen Suggs. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. He takes it in. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Defensive foul. Both teams Defensive will make substitutions. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Now at the line for your back. And so it's Memphis with it. It's a 14-point game. Continues Caldwell Pope. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. The first one falls. At the line for the Grizzlies, Marquez Johnson. Two shots. And Johnson drops them both. 34 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Suggs. And he goes in for the dunk. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. To the inside. Here's Johnson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his second personal foul. 15 foul. And he drops the first. Shooting from Memphis. Marquez Johnson. At the left. And Johnson drops them both. 19 seconds left in the final quarter. 
They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A., they deserve the win. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Harris outside. No good. And so Dallas takes this one by a big margin. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clear.